Hello everyone on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining the Stock Martin channel. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos. And please give me that thumbs up so we can share this with the community. I really appreciate you and all your support. We're growing this channel very well and I expect to see a subscription number close to 500 very soon. I have a great video for you today and I'm really excited about this and it's regarding CCIB or Lucid Motors. The CEO has recently given an interview and has given a lot of great news and potential catalysts for this stock to go up in the near future. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. That technology is very, very exciting, but, but I just go back to the valuation issue, which is I think that investors are trying to grapple mm -hmm. with, what, with, with what and what kind of multiple um, they should be assigning and how they should be valuing these companies. Tesla obviously has a remarkable valuation that, that effectively means that it is uh, bigger uh, by market cap uh, that if you were to combine almost almost all of the current car makers uh, together. The question is, you know, you, you look at the valuation of your company, but look at, you look at the valuation of others, there's a lot more competition in this space. Do you think that, that investors should be using the valuations of some of the, the older car company models, the sort of classic companies, the Volkswagens, the General Motors of the world? Should they, be, should they be looking at a Tesla when they look at you? What, what, what do you think is the appropriate way to think about it? It's a fascinating point you raise. Um, I mean, Tesla's commanding its valuation uh, as, as future-looking, and also because it is in a preeminent position. It is the preeminent technology company in the EV field. That's why it commands such a high market cap. And there's now going to be two runners in that race. Lucid is going to join as a new force in EV technology. And that puts the U.S. in an incredibly healthy position, having two front-running EV tech companies in Tesla and Lucid. And I think, it's the, again, it's the technology that justifies those valuations. It's no longer the commodity valuation, how many cars you build, that determines the value of a company. It's the technology and the future potential of that tech. And our tech has got the future potential to right. truly mass industrialize electric cars. Peter, though, how do you think then about a General Motors? They're aiming to produce, I'm looking here, uh, about uh, by, by 2035, they want to have new, 30 new plug-in models arriving, and, and 30 new pl plug-in models arriving by 2025. And, and they plan to make a $35 billion investment. Well, I, I really welcome what GM is doing and that commitment, but let's see how successful they are in implementing that. Uh, you know, there's no such thing, really, as a market for electric cars. People often say, oh, gosh, that market is being saturated. There's a market for cars, and the more uh, better electric cars that come along, the more the penetration into the car market will be occupied by EVs. And that's why I welcome the competition, particularly Mercedes is coming now with the, uh, the EQS. And this is great because Lucid Air can be compared at the top table with the manufacturer that invented the car, Mercedes-Benz, with the best offering from Stuttgart. And we, there's always room at the top. It's mighty crowded down below. Right. Uh, Peter, uh, you've said that you plan to put vehicles into production in the uh, second half of the year. Uh, the second half of the year begins uh, next month. So uh, what's it look like right now for you? Well, we, we, we achieved a landmark um, red letter day last Friday. Uh, we started building our quality validation run, production run of cars. We've completed our pre-production run very successfully. And last Friday, June the 18th, the last working day of spring, we commenced our quality validation build at our state-of-the-art factory in Arizona. And there's a big difference here, Andrew. The quality validation build cars are the cars which ultimately we will sell directly to customers once we've got the quality right. And that build is currently underway. This is a big step forward in our mission to industrialize Lucid Air. You've said that uh, you plan to deliver 577 vehicles this year. You have 10,000 plus reservations. 
Are you, are you on schedule? Absolutely, we're bang on schedule. And as soon as the quality is right, we're on schedule to release those cars, what I believe will be the best car in the world to proud new owners in the second half of this year. We're absolutely on track for that. And, and, and I said 10,000 plus reservations. Uh, what, what do the reservations look like right now? Uh, over 10,000 and growing. It's very heartening. And we're responding to the uptake and increasing demand for Lucid by accelerating. Uh, we, we're accelerating 350 million of investment, bringing that forward to get better vertical integration in our plant throughout 22 and 23. Right. We're also announcing an additional 6 to 7% overall investment in our plan, in our business plan between 2021 and 26. And with that money, we'll be able to accelerate the growth of the company, secure and right. de-risk the, uh, the risk factors, and also provide greater flexibility uh, in terms of our mix of product. We're going to incorporate an extra 2.7 million square feet into our factory by the end of 2023. Uh, I'm very bullish about the future uh, that this secures. And let's dive right into this. According to Investor Place, the CCI stock and Lucid Motors news has had a really great uptick today. And it goes into uh, because CEO Peter Rawlinson just gave a big interview. And there were a lot of questions that were answered, especially the evaluation concerns over this merger and also future productions of its electric vehicles in the near future. And this is great news for us investors of CCIB or Lucid. Big takeaways from the interview is that they did talk about pre-production builds. And Peter Rawlinson did mention that he has started production quality validation on builds of Lucid Air. There will be 577 vehicles that will start delivering in the next few weeks, in the next few months. And this is quite big for the company. Also, it has been noted that there has been a very big demand for this vehicle for the Lucid Air model. And Peter Rawlinson said that he will step up to meet this demand by increasing the production of the Lucid Air vehicles. In an interview with Peter Rawlinson on CNBC, was asked about the deliveries of their vehicle and their schedule, and he said that they are bang on schedule and planning to deliver its 577 Lucid Air Dream Edition vehicles this year. And they have over 10,000 reservations as of 2022, which have increased by 2,500 in the last few months. Peter Rawlinson goes on to say that over 10,000 and growing reservations have been very heartening for him, and Lucid Motors have responded to uptake and increase the demand for Lucid by accelerating its production and building its factory. When questioned, Peter Rawlinson talked about the valuation, and investors had some valuation concerns about the CCIB stock, particularly that Lucid Motors' revenue projections are very optimistic and that management is underestimating the industrial competition. When asked in the interview, CEO Peter Rawlinson said that it's the technology that justifies those evaluations, he said in the interview. It's no longer the commodity valuation of how many cars you build that determines the value of the company. It's the technology and the future potential of that technology. And our tech has gotten that future potential to truly mass industrialize electric vehicles. According to the Montley Fool, Lucid Motors is topping 10,000 reservations and will be accelerating its manufacturing plans thanks to very strong demand. In the past four months, their reservations have increased by 2,500. Lucid Motors has cut, put out the reservation counts, and it looks like that there's 10,000 current reservations and counting. When the Lucid merger was announced, there were approximately 7,500 reservations of the Lucid Air sedan. The company provided investors with a handful of updates this week, and they are opening their new flagship store in New York City and other studios around the United States. When looking at the timeline of Lucid's reservation disclosures, we have that on February 19th, there were 7,500 total reservations and this was the time that CCIV announced that it would be merging with Lucid Motors. 
and then steadily the reservation totals have been increasing. As of yesterday, June 22nd, we're at 10,000 reservations of the Lucid Air model. And also note that the Lucid Air Dream reservations are closed and they will only be producing 577 of those models this year. That start at a price of $169,000. As the Lucid motor demand has really increased in the past few months, Lucid has decided to accelerate some of its plans to the, due to the robust demand and the company is accelerating around $350 million planned capital expenditures that it will use to expand the manufacturing capacity of its Arizona factory. Lucid plans to use this accelerated money by combining the next two phases of factory expansion into one expedited phase, which will be used to create the Lucid Gravity SUV. Currently, Lucid has completed its phase one factory, and it can produce up to 34,000 units per year. This new expedited phase will provide an additional 2.7 million square feet of manufacturing space and it will allow the facility to make up to 53,000 vehicles by the year 2023 to meet the demand of all the Lucid vehicle. From this past interview with CEO Peter Rawlinson, it looks like Lucid Motors is on track to be producing its 577 Lucid Air Dream vehicles, which is great news for its stock. As soon as we see these delivers coming in, we will definitely see the stock bump up and will be nice for its growth. Also, in the next few weeks, CCIV will be merging with Lucid and will have a new trading ticker as LCID, which will also be a big catalyst for its stock in the future. I think Lucid has a lot of great news coming out this week. As you can see, their demand is there, their productions are on track, and Lucid's doing a very good job of promoting its vehicles and advertising. I think this vehicle is going to do quite well in the luxury space and I'm really glad to be part of this journey with you and with the Lucid investors. Next I wanted to talk about the Lucid CCIV stock. As of this morning at 11.19 a.m. Lucid Motors has received a very nice increase in its stock. It is trading up for today is 3.3% and in the past five days, it has also received a very nice bump up, especially since all this good news is coming out from the CEO. I think the stock will do very well. It looks like we are going to be testing the resistance at $25. And in the past month, we have a, had a resistance of $27. It looks like we're uh, if we can manage to increase that and beat this resistance and keep a new base above $25, this will be very good for the stock as well. An analyst, according to Wallet Investor, gave CCIV a projection of one-year forecast of $44 and its five-year forecast of $125. We have to know that CCIV will be merging with Lucid Motors. And once we see the revenue and all these sales coming in, this forecast will be quite different and I believe, in my opinion, will be quite larger. But we'll ha definitely have to see. Well, I really hope you like this video, giving you the new inside scoop. I hope you learned something new, especially with the CEO Peter Rawlinson's interview and its great forecast in its production being on track. The merger it will be coming in the next few weeks. And also, I think once we start seeing these deliveries, the stock will do very quite well. Thank you so much for all your support. Please give me that thumbs up so this can be shared with everyone on YouTube. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos. I'm trying to get this video and this channel up to 500 subscribers, and I really thank you so much for sharing this video with others. Please share it with your coworkers, your friends, and your neighbors, and your family. Thank you so much for all your support. If you would like to help out the channel, down below I created two links. One will take you to Weeble. If you deposit $100 into Weeble, it'll give you two free stocks valued up to $1,850. The other one will be to Coinbase. If you deposit $100, it'll give you $10 in cryptocurrency for trading. Thank you so much for all your support.